I just got back from Costco and I got all the ingredients to make shrimp scampi, but instead of pasta, I'm gonna to toss it with the frozen cauliflower rice and keep it low carb. The nice thing about Costco is basically they have wild caught shrimp at every one and bonus points. If you're in Florida, you can get the Key West ones. The non bonus points of getting it at Costco is they come with the shell on. And after you remove the shell, like I did before I started the video, they have the poop trail in there. So you gotta run your knife along the back here, but it has a little bit right there. I'll just scrape out. See that, Rosie? Yeah, poop! Eh, eh. And that's why I did this before we started the video. So figure just over a pound of wild caught shrimp go in a bowl. I wash my hands. You wash your hands again? <laughs> I know, that poop was just so sticky. Let's season our shrimp with a shot of extra virgin olive oil, pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, a shake of garlic powder, and a shake of onion powder. Extra virgin olive oil goes in the pan, give it a shimmy. Shrimp goes in one even layer here. Throw down the sweater guard. Give the shrimp a flip, that's what I want. Just a little bit of color, adds massive flavor. And just a minute later, I'm gonna yank these. And you'll notice on the bottom of the pan, there's the sticky bits. That's why I seared the shrimp first to get that flavor in the pan and then build my sauce in there. I know a traditional recipe doesn't call for that, but I'm all about the flavor. I'll take about five cloves of garlic, smash them out of their skin and finely mince them. Add another nice glug of extra virgin. Garlic goes in, give it a nice mix. Bring the back pan over the heat. A little bit of salt, pepper. I was looking for Bobby approved white wine at Costco. I couldn't find an organic one, but in my opinion, this is better. If you go to a lot of wine stores or Whole Foods, you'll find a natural wine selection. Natural wine means old world style, fermented very long. How long is it fermented? Long enough that the residual sugar in the entire bottle is 0.1 grams. And it's free of added sulfites and chemicals. But a traditional glass of wine will have about three or four grams per cup. This has 0.1 per bottle. Thank you. Wine goes in, stops the cooking process. Give it a nice stir to lift off the sticky bits on the bottom of the pan. If you didn't want to use wine, totally fine. You would substitute that with a third of a cup of bone broth and maybe add a little extra lemon juice to bring out the acid. While the wine is reducing, we'll take my parsley, give it a haircut with the Flav City knife. That's so funny. You like that one, Rose? <laughs> I kind of like having the audience right here like this. It's gonna be a new segment. Rose is like my um, Ed McMahon to Johnny Carson here, right? <laughs> Give the parsley a nice chop. Actually, I'm gonna start preheating my ceramic pan just back here for the cauliflower rice. Are you doing the broccoli song? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rose actually does like broccoli. I'm gonna run my knife through a cup or so of florets. Keep singing your song, Rose. Favorite broccoli. <laughs> Rose actually seeks out the broccoli in school when they serve it for lunch. Dad, I only eat like the, the really green part. The, top, the green parts, right? Not the stalks, right? No. Yeah. But, but the bottom is really sweet. The stalk? Mm -hmm. Sweet like sugar. It's nature's candy, Rose. And then I'll finally dice a little bit of onion for the cauliflower, fried rice, or pilaf, we'll call it. Are you gonna eat this meal, Rosie, or no? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, that's promising. Let's see what's going on back hither. Wines reducing. Oh, it's hot. What's hot? Flav City ceramic pan. Needs some extra virgin. The cast iron pan was really hot, Rosie. It was really hot. It was Why hot. Did you say that was really hot, and I ate all my pasta already. <laughs> nice, do you want some more? Uh-uh. No, okay. I'm too full. <laughs> Onions, woo, go in. Broccoli goes in. Onion go in. Which one? I said onion go Onions in. Onions go in, yes, thank you. Salt goes in. What else besides salt? Salt and? Coconut flour. Coconut flour, also known as? Pepper. Pepper. Wait, do my baby one. Do the baby one, all right. It's so funny, I bought this just for Rose on Amazon years ago. The amount of emails or DMs I get asking where this is from is crazy. Just go on Amazon, it's like, 10 or $12. It works pretty well, it's lasted very long. Your baby pepper grinder is very popular, Rose. By the way, raise your hand or leave a comment. If you've cooked or bought with the Flav City cookware, what do you think? It's not only non-toxic lifetime warranty, but nothing sears, like my cast iron pan with the enamel in there. My ceramic non-toxic pan is a beaut. Um, 
Let's do a flash sale just for you guys watching. We'll do 25% off anything on the cookware site with code SHRIMP. You can get a set, you can get individual pieces. This stuff is awesome. FlavCityCookware.com. How are we gonna thicken up our sauce? Mantequilla, grass-fed Kirkland butter here. Let's call it one and a half tablespoons. Why do you say call one and a half tablespoons? Uh, I'm just eyeballing the size of it. Trivia, what did Baby Rose call butter back in the day? Baby. Baby, that's right, exactly right, exactly right. All right, butter goes in. That'll help thicken our sauce immediately. Daddy. Yes. Uh, I want to tell the, the popular story when Rose lost her, when Rose lost my sunglasses. Oh, okay, the, the first story of Rose, go for it. I lost my glasses. I cried, I sat, I ate ice cream. That was Rose's first story ever when she was a baby, yes. Okay, Flav City Zester is over here. This sucker comes in the accessory kit. If you have a lemon before you juice it, you might as well zest some into the pan. How much lemon juice should we add, do you think, Rosie? Oh, 1,000. 1,000 juices? <laughs> okay. That's about a half a lemon, I think, right? <laughs> 1,000. Okay. Well, you're writing the blog post for this, so you can type that recipe out, huh? <laughs> oh, we'll do the juice of about half a lemon. Oh, pepper flakes. <laughs> Who likes spicy? Not me. <laughs> not you, not we, we need not it. Me. It's traditional in the recipe, so let's just shimmy in a little bit of red pepper flakes, not too much. And then also, follow me to the freezer. No, wait, for, oh. <laughs> wait for you. What's this, Rose? Rice. Rice, cauliflower rice from Costco. Before we put it in, we like to bang it up so it's not... Hi. Do you want to do that? All right, here. This is actually one of Rose's favorite things here. There you go. What? So to avoid you getting... It to me? Yeah. To get, avoid getting big clumps in there. Yeah. Break up that cauliflower rice. Show it who's boss, Rosie. Good. Okay. Now throw it back to data. Thank you. This pairing is really working out well. Rosie and Daddy. Frozen rice goes in the pan. We season it immediately with a nice pinch of salt, baby roses, pepper, and just let it warm up. Give it a shimmy. Look what's going on here, my friends. Our sauce, beautiful. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lower the heat. We're gonna take some of our parsley, put that in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Look at this, our shrimp and the juices go back in, remember, we did not finish cooking the shrimp through. They're a little raw in the middle. So by doing this, we'll cook them through with all that buttery, whiny, lemony yumminess. Right, ah, that's looking good, huh? Fun fact, a lot of people think that all of the alcohol reduces when you cook with wine, almost all of it reduces. So. Rose can just have a little bit of this because you don't want to drink wine today, Dad, do you? Dad, after this, I want to make chocolate pudding, but I want a yarn to fill me. You want? <laughs> All right. Coming up next on the Rose and Daddy show, chocolate avocado pudding. Would you say that's your most famous recipe ever? Yeah. I think so, too. Oh, no, I didn't say that. I said that's the best recipe ever. It's the best recipe. I agree 100%. Look at the texture of that sauce. You can kind of draw a quick line through it like that. And it holds for just a couple seconds. There's a French word for that. What the heck is it? French word. Do you know the word for that? Leave a comment down below. The peel off is just about done. Let's clear our messy workstation here and then plate this dish. My sidekick has joined me here to plate this dish, which by the way, came together really, really quickly. It's like 1030. We started this about 20 minutes ago. So we're gonna have an early lunch today. Let's plate this dish, Rosie. Mm, after chocolate pudding. There we go. Let's put some rice down on that nice, beautiful platter. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Good. That is a lot. It's good because we're hungry. <laughs> Happy dance before you taste it. First of all, look at this, Rosie. We have a beautiful crust there. The garlic and the parsley stuck to it. And when you put that down there and then dress it with a little more of that butter sauce, look at that. It's like taking a bath in that rice. 
You take my a bath bomb. You take a bath bomb? This is my version of a bath bomb. Rose is actually making her own homemade bath bombs lately. We're gonna make a little video how to do it. And um and slime. And homemade slime. Yeah, Bobby approved slime. Because we made some yesterday. We did, it was actually really cool. Well, actually we didn't have glue because we went to Cammy's house and, and and she had a little bit of glue. That is correct. Yeah, and we put some of mommy the thing for mommy on ice and then we made more glue and then Oh yeah, contact solution is a, a key ingredient evidently in slime. We'll take some of this beautiful butter mounted sauce here. Oh by the way, Leilani looked it up. The French term for the sauce. Oh my god, <clears throat> the red pepper flake went down my throat, Rose. Is called <clears throat> is called nappe. Nappe. So whoever left the camera with that gets bonus points for sure. All right. Yeah, I'm not tasting that because there's red peppers. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. I'll take. I'll. I'll bite the bullet. Do me a favor. Garnish with a little bit of parsley on there, Rosie. Oh, Thank you. Beautiful. I'll do all of it. No, just a little bit. Otherwise, it gets a little too parsley-ish. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my god. It's my first time having rice. Mmm. Wowzers. You know what? It's my first time making shrimp scampi too. And that's delicious. Mmm. I'm gonna type the recipe and put it down below. Grab a helper, make it in the kitchen. We'll see you soon. Bye.